By the end of this video, you will be able to make a pitch black room for the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you're gonna wanna have Roblox Studio open. And in this walkthrough, I'm gonna show you how to make a room pitch black or darker with the lighting. And I'm also gonna show you how to make the atmosphere darker. So if you wanna create like a dark forest or some other kind of terrain. So in order to start this walkthrough, I went ahead and built a room. It doesn't have a ceiling on it yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the ceiling or roof on top of it. So the first thing I wanna point out about this uh, room is that you wanna make sure you use pretty thick walls for the room that you're using. And it'll work without thick walls that you just have to change the lighting settings a bit. Uh, but I went ahead and joined these walls into a model. And so whenever you click on the walls or the model itself, you wanna go down to the right hand side and make sure that you have it anchored. And so you wanna make sure that this is anchored for all of the items in your room. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a roof on this now. So let's go ahead and add a part for that. So I wanna add a block. And real quick, before I do that actually, let's go ahead and move this on top of the spawn location so that that way when I spawn, I'm actually inside of the room. And that'll make this easier for going forward. So you can see there's a spawn location. Somewhere right, right there looks good to me. Okay, now let's put this roof on here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a block. And once I have the block selected, I can go ahead and scale it. And this is the same way I built the entire structure here. So I just uh, went ahead and scaled each one. I'm not gonna get this perfect, but I'm gonna go ahead and just get it so it works for this walkthrough. And again, you just wanna cover that ceiling as best as you can. And I actually like to move it a bit into the ceiling as well. So you can see I'm just gonna move that a bit down. So now there's no gaps anywhere with this room. And again, I have it selected. I wanna make sure I go down to the bottom right hand side and click on anchored. And depending on what you want this room to be, you can have can Clyde turned on or off. So let's go ahead and zoom in here and see what it looks like inside the room. So you can see I'm still able to see the walls and that kind of thing. If I were to play this game, it would be pretty similar. Uh, I would be able to be able to see everything, right? So we wanna make this more pitch dark. Okay, so in order to do that, we're going to want to play with the lighting settings in this game. So on the Explorer tab on the right hand side, you can see there's a lighting. You can just click lighting, there's a drop down too if you want to, but let's just start with the lighting. So click on lighting, have it selected. And right now we have the ambient light. You can set that to a darker color. So right now it's at a gray. So I'm gonna go ahead and click black. So you can see that already made it a lot darker. And so it's getting harder to see already. And then I'm going to go down to global shadows. Make sure that's turned on so you can see shadows are there. And outdoor ambient, same thing. So you can go click on black there. Okay. So those are the main settings that you want to have uh, clicked on black. So another thing you can change to make this room even darker is to go to lighting again and then scroll down to where you see time of day. And I'm going to go to time of, clock time. So there's clock time there. I'm going to go ahead and press one. So that's like kind of in the middle of the night. So again, you can see it's made it even darker. So let's go ahead and play the game to see what it looks like in the room right now. So you can see it's pretty dark in here. And again, as I showed you in the last screen here, let's go ahead and stop this. If you were to, let's say, uh, or look around the map, you'll see that it is completely pitch dark. And again, so uh, this is a kind of an interesting video because if you were actually to make a room completely pitch dark, the character cannot see. So the way we've got the a uh, room right now is probably the darkest you would want it to be so that a character could still see where they were going. So the reason that it's important to change those settings to the darkest settings possible is that now you can add a light to this room and create a certain kind of effect. And so I'll show you how to do that real quick. So let's go ahead and add a part. And then with this part, I'm going to add a light to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click plus and then light and let's do we can do a spotlight or a point light let's do a point light that sounds kind of good and so now you can see it's got some light to it this is on top of the house that i built here so let's go ahead and put that down into the room and so now i'm going to go down into the room okay good so now this is starting to look pretty cool so now we've got a light and we can change the qualities of this light depending on which way you want them to go here. So uh, right now I've got it shining towards the wall there. And let's do, actually that's kind of good. Okay, and then whenever you have that part selected, you can go ahead and go down to the properties and then you can make it a transparent part so that people can't see it. 
So now it's a one, so one is totally transparent. And then you also wanna make sure that you anchor it. You can press can collide off if you would like. Uh, depends on if you want them to be able to can collide with the lights or not. I'm gonna press off for that and I'm gonna anchor this. Okay, so now when I play this game, there should be a little bit of light from the part that I added a light to. There we go. So there it is. So you can see there's a little bit of light over here. So now I can walk into the light and then back into the darkness. So I wanted to show you how you can add a light to a part so that you can move those lights around into that pitch dark room so that you can create the kind of environment you want with the lighting that you want. So if you want to change the point light settings, all you need to go is in the Explorer, click the part that you have selected and then click on point light. And then you see the range here. You can go ahead and change that and it'll make the point light larger or smaller depending on how big you want the light to be. Uh, I'm going to go something like that. And you can also change the color something different, like a darker color here, and then press OK. And you can change the brightness as well. One last thing that you can do is add some fog to this uh, map. And I have another video to show you how to do that. Uh, I'll put a link to that around this video. So you now know how to make a room darker as well as the overall terrain darker in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.